the big elephant in the room for all children is, am I going to have eye drops? And I, you know, that's quite an uncomfortable thing for them and it makes parents very anxious. So I think it's very important that they see somebody or a team, because it's always a team who looks after a child, who are confident, comfortable and can really engage with your child. The first thing that happens is you'll come and you'll see an orthoptist. An orthoptist is a highly trained professional in the assessment of children's vision and also in characterising their squint. Then we do have to instil some drops, but there are techniques to do that that make it much less distressing for your child and actually the discomfort's over very quickly. I think a key thing that children pick up on is whether their parents are anxious when this happens. And if they're in an environment that makes everybody feel comfortable, it's just so much more of a pleasant experience. And then, once the drops have had a bit of time to work, we'll meet, we will discuss what your concerns are, what's happened, when you notice the squint, how your child is. And then I, that gives us a little bit of time to meet your child, develop a rapport, and then we'll examine them. And actually, if you're very experienced at doing this, often you can make it a game. And that's much more successful. So I see lots of parents who have been perhaps seen other people who aren't as experienced in dealing with children. It might not even have been an eye doctor. And things may have been found or issues with the vision or a squint. And actually the child comes in and in a much more relaxed environment, they can perform in a much more confident way and things are much better than you first envisaged. Other times we might need to start some treatment. And that's usually very straightforward. So the first thing we think about is when your child has a squint is does your child need to wear some glasses? And for some children, that's all the treatment they might need. The glasses may relax the eyes out and, and support the, develop, the visual development of your child. For other children, that may not be quite enough in itself or it may not even be necessary. And then it's a question of discussing in a calm environment, somewhere that you feel confident and, and secure about where we go from here and the treatment options. So sometimes that might involve a surgery. And again, I, one thing that I've found is that parents feel much more anxious about agreeing or deciding about a surgery for their child than they would for themselves. Because people, it's a big responsibility to your child and you don't want them in the future to come back and say, why did you do this? So it's really important that we discuss the options and that parents feel confident and comfortable. But actually, for the vast majority of people, the surgery is very straightforward undertaking. Um, although I think it's very important that you see somebody who's very experienced and confident in, in the management of it. In, kind, in terms of the technical aspects of the surgery, it is done under a general anaesthetic, but it's a short anaesthetic. It usually takes about an hour. And the vast majority of children, particularly those that are very young, have no recollection of it. And actually, I see a lot of adults, even with squints, who perhaps have had them treated in childhood. And the vast majority of them will have somewhere in the dim and distant past been told that they had a squint surgery, but they really may not even remember which eye it affected. One thing I do look forward to, particularly, is seeing children that have had squint surgery coming for their follow-up. Most of the time, the children are completely unfazed and walk in and don't even really know anything very much has happened to them. However, for parents it's a completely different story and you can see the relief is evident on people's faces that they have done something that's maybe taken them a little while to work up to um, and the vast majority of people say how well the eye settled after surgery, that their child really wasn't bothered beyond at the initial day or two afterwards. For most parents the biggest issue is having to instill some drops after surgery but again there are tips and tricks that we can tell people and we try and get children off drops as quickly as possible. As I say most children don't realise that they have a problem usually their vision is very good um, they come in they think they're playing more games but for parents it's a chance to we of course will examine the eye and just give you the reassurance that you need that everything is healed well and settled as we want it to. In the longer term, we often do keep your child under follow-up for a period of time because it's important to make sure that their vision develops as we would like. Sometimes children may need glasses after surgery. 
the aim of surgery is not usually to get rid of glasses if that's what your child was wearing beforehand, but it's important that we keep the child in a correct prescription, really just to support their visual growth and development. So if you have been told that somebody suspects your child has a squint, perhaps it's been pointed out by family members, perhaps you've noticed it, perhaps it's been something picked up at school or in an eye test, and you'd like to have that checked, then we'd be very happy to see you. As I say, the treatment is very individualised. It depends on the child, the family, and particularly the type of squint that your child has. But the vast majority of cases are very amenable to treatment, and we'd very much like to see you.